Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new Class 66 Rocks Stobart review. So in this review we're taking a look at another World of Stobart collection model. So without further ado, let's have a look at what we are reviewing today then. So as you can see today, um, we have the DAF LF Johnston 600 Road Sweeper, uh, which is operated by Stobart Ports. So this is the Certificate of Authenticity. Um, this basically certifies that the model accompanying this document is an authentic replica, officially licensed and approved by Eddie Stobart. Now I have seen one of these at Stobart Ports in Winners quite a few years back. Um, now I'm not too sure if they still operate them, but if they do, please leave your comments below and let me know. So let's turn the certificate round to the back. Um, so there's just a bit of information here about the Della the DAF LF Johnston 600 Road Sweeper, which I'm just going to let you have a read off for a moment. Okay, so on the bottom of the certificate, there's the consumer guarantee, uh, which we're not really going to go into. Um, the produced by Oxford Diecast for Atlas Editions and obviously Atlas Editions are commissioned to produce them for Eddie Stobart. Now I think the DAF LF is a seven and a half ton truck. Um, now if I'm wrong on it obviously please leave your comments below uh, but if I'm right again you can just mention yes you're correct etc. So let's have a look at the model itself then. So, as you can see, we've got the model itself just here. I'm just going to up the brightness, and I'm going to do loads again. Um, it's presented in the World of Stobart box, as you can see. Um, now, I always think the World of Stobart boxes are quite basic compared to the previous Atlas Editions boxes. Um, it's a special edition collector's model, as you can see on the side. Uh, it's in 176th scale, and it's die cast metal. Um, I'm just going to Put the brightness up a little bit just there and again it's the same on the other side taking a look at the bottom of the box as you can see we've got the atlas editions logo just there and the eddie stobart wording just underneath so let's undo the model and take a look at it so i've had this particular model for some weeks now um, i've got it off ebay uh, but if, like I say in, previous, in the previous video, I've only just got round to reviewing it due to work commitments and other commitments. Okay, so we'll just place the box to one side for a second. Okay, so as you can see, um, it comes with the block of ice or ice cube packaging, whichever you wish to call it. Uh, so let's take these apart. Oh, there we go, it's come off in one piece. Okay, so first off, it is really, really lightweight. There's no weight to it whatsoever. Um, they come presented on these display stands. Um, and if, on the edge of the display stand, you've got the description, which is DAF LF Johnston 600 Road Sweeper. So let's start with the front of the road sweeper. So I may have to zoom the camcorder in. Uh, so just above the windscreen there and we've got a beacon um, and a black part which I'm not entirely sure what it's for so if you do know please leave your comments below. As you can see we've got the wing mirrors and the blind spot mirrors on the left and right hand sides. Uh, we've got the Stobart ports wording um, just under the windscreen as you can see. Uh, we've got the DAF and the LF wording as well. We also have the headlights and the indicators on the left and right hand sides and the number plate which is WU02YBW. So I'm just going to zoom the camcorder out and I'm just going to lower the brightness slightly. Okay, apologies about the pause in the video just then. Um, all it was was the sunlight from my bedroom window came through and it made the camcorder video look like it's going to go really bright. So I stopped the camcorder and restarted it again and adjusted a few settings. Um, so hopefully 
that should correct the issue. So let's continue with the review. So on the side, as you can see, uh, we've got the passenger door where the passenger gets in and out of. We've got some form of tank just here on the back and a suction tube coming from the roof of the vehicle. Um, now, if you know what this one is for, please leave your comments below. Now, if you can see that, we also have the brushes underneath the vehicle just there that obviously lower down onto the road and clear the debris. Turn the vehicle round to the back now. Uh, we've got some hazard warning panels on the left and right hand sides there. Um, as well as the number plate WU02YBW. And we also have a small beacon on the back of the vehicle. Now one thing I forgot to mention on the side was the word Stobart Ports in blue. So turning the vehicle round to the other side now. Again, there's nothing much different on this side. Again, we've got the Stobart Ports wording in blue. Um, and obviously the tanks that I'm guessing the debris goes into. Um, now, I'm not knowledgeable, obviously, on road sweepers as a rule. So if you know more about these vehicles, please leave your comments below. And on the side here, obviously, you can see we've got the cab door where the driver gets in and out of. And again, we've got the brushes just under there. Um, and what looks like two little wheels, but I'm guessing these lower down onto the road and then it um, sweeps up the debris. So that is it basically. The Atlas Editions World of Stobart DAF LF Johnston 600 Road Sweeper in the Stobart Ports livery.